In Painting by Numbers this week, you learned all about Yayoi Kusama. And one of the things that we know about her is that she loved infinity and she loved dots. And this Apollonian gasket that we're going to draw is the perfect representation of dots and infinity. When we think of infinity, we often think of something really big, like that goes on forever. And this does that, but in a really small way. So I'm gonna teach you how. Start by drawing the circle and then drawing the origin of the circle. That's just the dot right in the middle of the circle. And then from here, you're going to draw two circles. You're gonna draw one that goes out from the origin this way, and another that goes out from the origin this way. So now we have two circles inside of a big circle. This shape is gonna create what's called a fractal. And a fractal is self-similar. So by self-similar, we mean that it's a shape that repeats itself in a similar way over and over again. So we have a big circle and then two similar circles on the inside. After that, you're gonna draw the next biggest circles you can. And for this, I'm gonna draw them above and below the two circles that I drew. Now you might notice that I'm not drawing these circles perfectly. It's really, really hard, if not impossible, to draw a perfect circle. So I'm just gonna do the best I can and do the circles this way, just trying to fill the space. So then you're gonna go to the next round, right here on either side, just like this. When we think of infinity, we think of something really, really big. And this is an example of how an infinity can be small because you might notice that there's spaces in between each circle all over here. Every single space in this circle can be filled with more circles. In the Apollonian gasket, there's always a space between the circles, which makes room for another circle. This could go on infinitely. So even if you physically can't draw the circle, the space is still there. If you got down on the microscopic level, as small as an atom, you'd find there's always space between each of the circles. So that's why this is an example of infinity. For the next step, you're gonna keep drawing smaller circles inside each of the spaces where there's a bigger circle. And you might notice it should be the same on each side. So here I have four and four, and then one and one there. So you wanna just keep going in the spaces as small as they can get. So on the sides of every single circle, you're gonna draw another circle, just like that. And in every space where you can fit a circle, you'll draw another circle. And they are going to get smaller and smaller, but you'll see that if you kept going, there's always a space for more circles. And that's why this is a fractal. The shapes are self-similar. They're all circles. And it's an example of infinity because you could keep doing this infinitely. We don't have time for that in our lifetimes, of course. But as a mathematician, you can use your imagination and you can picture how these shapes could just go on and on and on forever. This is a really fun activity to do. You can make these in any way you want, anytime you want, and they're really fun doodles, but it's also a really cool example of how math and art intersect.